as she is baptized into the faith. Lucy was born right at the beginning of the stay-at-home order, and so many of us from Lord of Life, our experience, Lucy, of you has been on a screen, and so it's a, it's a privilege for all of us to be able to be a part of today. I'd like to offer a prayer to begin. Lord God, you bless your people in so many ways. This week, as we prepare for Thanksgiving, let us all see in Lucy the hope that is always present in you, the future which is always real in you. We thank you for blessing her with this family and them with her. And we pray that the joy that they have experienced would do nothing but grow and flourish as Lucy grows and flourish. Lord, we pray these and all things in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. We gather this afternoon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of holy baptism. By water and the Word, God delivers us from sin and to death and raises us to new life in Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Who presents Lucy Rose Hicks to receive the sacrament of holy baptism? Jeff and Martina, first a few words for you. As you bring Lucy to receive the gift of baptism, you're entrusted with responsibilities to live with her among God's faithful people, to bring her to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, to place in her hands the Holy Scripture, and nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ in word and deed, and care for others in the world God made, that she might work for justice and peace in the world. Do you promise to help Lucy grow in the Christian faith and life? Christina and Kevin, do you promise to nurture Lucy, Lucy in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help her live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? And those gathered here and those joining us online, I ask you, do you promise to support Lucy and pray for her in her new life in Christ? We do. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? We renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? We renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? We renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right. Give me just one moment. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life, in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free free from the power of sin and death, and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, 
that all who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All right. You ready for this, Lucy? Martina, would you grab the... Perfect. All right. All right. Lucy Rose. Yes. You are baptized. She wants to drink. You are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are perfect. Lucy, that was the best ever. <laughs> You're going to make me emotional. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your children new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Sustain Lucy with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Perfect. Martine, would you make the sign of the cross on Lucy's head? Lucy Rose, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. And would you hand me, hand me the candle? Perfect. Lucy, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Amen. Perfect. All right, I'm going to give this to you. You can blow it out if you like. We encourage you to light that on this, the Lucy's baptismal anniversary. And Behind you is her certificate, and the baptismal napkin was, was embroidered by Lisa Grimm. So, you ready to be done? I can see. So, Lucy, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. All right. Good job. You, you, did, you did great.